Hey guys, and welcome back to Frontline's Fuel of War. When we last left off, we were trying to take Moscow. However, it wasn't exactly going as planned. In fact, uh, we got kicked <laughs> right out of the government building, unfortunately. However, we have a few more dudes left over this time, and things have gone a little bit better getting back to where we were. Uh, have definitely lost some lives. Um, <laughs> I think we started with six or seven, something like that. And we are down to four, I believe. So let's scavenge up some gear anyway. Okay. This has definitely paid off a bit, being a little bit more patient and having a look around for some equipment. It'd be nice if I could find a sniper rifle. Pretty sure... There was one around here somewhere, but I guess not. Nope, maybe not. Sad. Well, there's lots of rocket launchers, but these things are literally to a penny. They are everywhere. So let's continue our assault on this final building and see how that goes. Fingers crossed it's going to go a little bit better than uh, it did previously. I mean, it can't go any worse? Question mark, I suppose. But then, we've said that before. Right, let's leave the tank there. Stay there, war pig. We are going in. Except this time, we're going to go in with this little beauty. And hopefully, not get quite so chopped up. Now, just like last time... Ooh, hello. Just like last time, I have no idea what has happened to my troops. Ooh. He seems to have buggered off and left me to it. Which isn't very team-like of them, if you ask me. I'd wager most of these guys wouldn't know a team it came up and slapped them in the face. Now, sneaky sneaky. Ooh! I had no idea this tank could receive repairs. What sorcery is that? Next you'll be telling me somehow we can rearm it. I had no idea the drones could repair it, guys. That's freaking interesting. Okay, so it seems to be pushing this way might not be an awful idea. I don't know what this gun is that this drone has, but it's savage. It's way better than anything we get. Um, on foot. It, well, it might be as good as the MG. Come on, little Ivan. I am here for you. I want your soul. There we go. Yeah, I mean, its health does go down pretty quick, but... I mean, we can just park it around the corner. And that auto repair armor seems to kick in. And do a bloody good job patching the old girl back up. Which is excellent. Uh, who is hitting me from behind? You have to ask questions sometimes. Come on. I saw you. Oof. Seeing them's one thing, but trying to shoot them apparently is a, another problem entirely. Okay, I think... We've got the bottom floor locked down. Kind of. Maybe. Or at least we very soon will have. Dude. Dude didn't die. Rude. Very rude. Luckily we're continuously receiving repairs. But I'd rather start receiving some ammo if it's all the same. Come on. Q. 
can. Ooh. I mean, you guys can come to me. That would certainly save me some bother, that's for sure. My god, they're like cockroaches. That's okay. Plenty of ammo for now. God damn it. Right, let's go get some repairs. The little machine that could. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't want to lose this guy. Not if we can help it anyway. Ah, there we go. Hide around this corner. <laughs> Hello, me. Unnamed soldier. Kind of ridiculous that you can just get this thing patched up. I wonder if we pick it back up, does that refill its ammo? Kind of curious. Just melted that guy down. Who is shooting us? Oh, you. I even see you there. Surely these guys aren't respawning. Hopefully I'm drawing them out of their den. Leading them like lambs to the slaughter. Okay. Can we? We can enter the drone or we can pick it back up. Right, let's try picking it back up. And then deploying it again. Nope. So it doesn't get its ammo back. Unfortunately. That's okay. That's okay. We can't have everything now, can we? Let's creep upstairs. See if we can find something to shoot. My guess is... Probably. We're actually getting our signal back by going back this way, which is interesting. So I don't know if signal's done by height or if it is just straight up done. Oh dear. Well, that's bad. Uh, we are in some plane of existence. Shit. Kinda didn't want to lose that drone. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I'm stuck. It's literally stuck on the scenery then. <sighs> okay. Okay, forget the drone. Forget the damn drone. Oh, we've got another one, apparently. Oh. Okay, cool. That works. Damn you, bastards. Sons of fucking bitches. <sighs> would really like it if my men uh, would join me. There is no iron team, guys. Seriously. Shit. Really trying to maximise the ammo in my magazines. <sighs> Although that appears to be a bit more of a challenge. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Really have us pinned. Whew. One less. How many could there possibly be? Oof. Uh oh. God, this is getting pretty nuts. I missed my drone. My drone was safety. It was happiness. It was all that was right with this world. Unlike my stupid, traitorous men that do nothing but dick around and fuck around and sit around with their thumbs up their asses. Well, some of us actually go out and try and, you know, 
complete the objectives. It's like being in a squad of children playing Halo 3 oh, back in the glory days of Xbox Live. Actually, that's not true, I suppose. I suppose children actually manipulated the controls on the controller. You know, some of them dribbled enough into their controllers to actually, you know, score a kill or two. Or at least become cannon fodder. Not these AI. They don't even have controllers to dribble into. Oof. Oh, he's trying to move around. Luckily his hat fell off. Oh, hello. You've actually turned up to join the fight. Well, I say join the fight. He's turned up. Did your mother dress you this morning? Suppose we can't all be men, can we? Uh, right, this is going to be a bit intense up here. Elevator shaft. Elevator shaft. That doesn't sound like it's going to be safe. Damn, that guy had balls of steel. Okay, this guy looks serious. Ooh. Oh god. I don't know where we're being shot from. I think his bullets are going... Yep, his bullets are literally going through the wall. That's cheating game. Cheating bastard. What is it with AI and having aimbot? More than once I've noticed that. <sighs> but I suppose... The EA logo isn't exactly the seal of quality, is it? More like the death stamp of shit. Well, I mean, like our guy just appeared on the gun, so... Profit, I guess? Now, about this elevator shaft that I've heard so much about, I do like the way they just kind of magnetise to the gun. Kind of funny. Now considering he's aiming down there, that's making me wonder whether there's actually an enemy down there. Now about this ele oh. Oh god. Where the fuck did you come from? Notice our guard here just running straight past the enemy without even shooting. I think he was trying to run to... Maybe he thinks I'm his mummy. And he was running to me. Sucking his thumb. I think that's what was going on. With a big old load in his pants as well. Honestly, where do we get these guys from? At least these Russian soldiers have some testi testicles. Testicle fortitude. Oof. Get these grenades doing some work. Testicular fortitude, guys. Too many of these guys have been babied too much. Worrying about safe spaces and what you can and can't say in cartoons. They've grown soft. Well, I mean, that guy wasn't even looking in our direction, so... Maybe he uh, got the short straw when it came to brains. Right, let's clear this place out. Last thing we want is some dirty... Ooh! Dirty, sneaky... Ah, oh, we've lost our drones. Dirty, sneaky Ivan. Sneaking up on us. Ooh! Yeah, like that. He could have had me. could have had me. But he bottled out. Ammo. 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 Oof. Sometimes it takes a while for that ammo to click through. Maybe there's a cooldown. Oh, God. Oh, he's abandoning his post. <sighs> okay. Wait a moment. Thompson, get your men all together into the main square. We've got reports of Red Star reinforcements flooding into the city. <laughs> Thank you, 
No. Nope, you didn't think it would be that easy. That, I mean, come on. He sounds like a child. Seriously. Sounds like a little teenager trying to sound like a man. Ah, no wonder they were lagging behind. Probably didn't want to get out of bed this morning. I can relate. I didn't want to get out of bed this morning either, but here we are. There's coffee to drink, games to be played, you know. Now, this is the final objective of the game. We have to hold the square, and this can get quite rough, but we've got some toys to play with. Heads up, men. You've got enemy hostiles moving towards our location. Dig in and hold that ground. Yeah, we are going to get swamped from absolutely every direction here. We've got our rail gun, which we can put here. Now, the cool thing about this bit is you do get a somewhat decent chunk of soldiers to help you out. Another railgun. Uh, oh, and we got a rusky drone. We'll set that one up there. I think there's another one of those somewhere too. Ah, there is. Another one here. Now these minigun drones are actually really freaking cool. I don't know how to select it. I guess that one. There we go. Yeah, that was frustrating. Right, let's put these two turrets down here. That way those guys can fend off one area and we will try and hold out the others okay here we go this is going to get nasty so here we go defending the plaza now if you think, oh, they're probably going to throw two or three tanks at us and about ten men, you'd be wrong. <laughs> they they throw a lot at us. This gets sketch. Keep grabbing that ammo. Now, I actually thought we had more men to help us here, but I think actually we still just have the same three. Oh. Those ruskies kind of coming from all sides now. It'd be really nice if we had the heavy machine gun. Yes, of course. Shit. Of course we got a freaking chopper. Uh, and we still don't have any cool equipment. Still only got the absolute ooh, absolute basic stuff. Interesting. Okay. Don't think I've ever spawned here before. But I'm not complaining. Now I can't remember how many helicopters we have to face off against here. I have a feeling it is more than one. Might be two of them here. Which if you consider this is the Russians last stand. It's a little bit sad on the air power. But we don't mind. We do not mind. Might grab himself a tank. See if we can do some damage with this bad boy. Okay. Because we are low on lives. And luckily, small arms don't hurt the tanks. Which is a really freaking big deal. As I'm sure you can uh, appreciate. Now you can see there's two more tanks this side. I'm sure there's a lot more tanks to come yet. 
Now, one thing I don't understand is you can see we've got that defending the piazza, or the plaza, I should say. Piazza is in Truro. Um, thing. And it's going up in a red bar. Now, I think when that fills up, we've actually won. But I don't know why it's going up red. That's kind of a bit of a mystery. But hey, ours is not to question why or something. Oh, hey guys. Oh, they've actually destroyed... They've destroyed my gun turrets. That never happened before. It looks like the reds are actually taking over. Hmm, maybe this tank wasn't that optimal. Hey ho. Oh no, we still do have some guys up there fighting. Just... Oh, don't think many. That's okay. The only one that needs to be in the fight is us. Not bad. Sneak around this side, see if any action's happening. Probably a load of tanks over here. Oh god, there is actually another helicopter. How about that? Let's use some chaff. Now, as you can plainly see, it doesn't look like that helicopter is doing much against us. Which is pretty nice. But we need to bring it down anyway. Ah, oh, you bastard. Come on. Now if our guys would use their rocket launchers. Shit. This would certainly be a little bit easier. Or should I say if they used their rocket launchers properly and locked onto the enemy. Ah. We have a problem. That was the last rocket. Uh, that is a problem. That is a nasty problem. That's okay. We can handle this little setback. I say with confidence. Um. <laughs> yeah, remember that um, railgun that I deployed earlier? Well, some Rusky thought it would be a great idea if he commandeered it. And uh, it was, for a while. Certainly blew a big old hole through uh, my guy's chest anyway. Right, where's that helicopter? There it is. <coughs> Why can't I aim? Wait. Do these have like a certain range or something? Uh, oh, we've got no ammo still. We respawned with no ammo. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, my weapons weren't reloading. Ah, uh, that was bad. Um. <laughs> uh, I don't know why my weapons weren't reloading. It said I had ammo, but they wouldn't reload. Oh, thank fuck. It's reloading. <sighs> okay. That was an annoying bug that I've never seen in this game before. Oh, Jesus. Get behind the barriers. Don't get stuck on the scenery. Get behind the barriers. <sighs> Trip that fucker up. Right, we want to make sure there's nobody on the railgun this time. Okay, we have a PlayStation man. Which is fun. I mean, PlayStation polygons models had quite a nice aesthetic to them, I think, but don't think they should be in this game. Not really. Now let's sneak on round, because I almost guarantee there's some more tanks back. <laughs> oh, I forgot lampposts are invincible. Yeah. 70 ton tank. Can't, uh, can't run over 
a lamppost because you know physics how do they work I guess ah no tanks we destroyed all the tanks that's interesting well, we might have destroyed all the tanks but no that wasn't another helicopter was it that was not another helicopter. All right. This is really bad. Oh, I'm trying to shoot my own dude in the face. Probably not the best end of this level. All right, I think it's just infantry left. We can handle just infantry left. That is, if it is, just infantry left. I could have sworn I saw the shadow of a helicopter. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Oof. There we go. Oh, they didn't destroy the turrets. Cool. Excellent. Well, I guess we are victorious. But we never even saw the Chinese. Hmm. Interesting. Well done, Gears of War man. We're just mopping up. A few scattered pockets of resistance, but that won't last long. So, what's your plan now that all this is over? Over? This isn't over. There's already reports of the Russians setting up a government in exile. And the Chinese are massing on the borders. It's always doom and gloom with you, Princeton. More conflict. That's all any of us could count on in the future. This wasn't the end. Not by a long shot. Maybe all we've been doing is buying time. Buying time for those back home to find an answer. Hydrogen, fusion, something new. Who knows? But there's always hope. To heal old wounds. To make a new start. Someday this war will end. And hopefully those that have survived will have learned enough not to make the same mistakes. To start fresh. I hope I'm there to see that. I really do. <laughs> hmm. Well, that was front lines, fuel of war. A pretty above, but not spectacular average game. As you can see, perfectly set up for a sequel there that, you know, never happened. Kind of feels like we only played through half of the game. I don't know whether there was DLC or something planned for this game that just never materialized, quite possibly. But I d actually, I don't know how well this game did when it came out, apart from myself. Um, and I had quite a big um, gaming group on Xbox Live. But apart from myself, I don't know anybody else that played this. Uh, yeah, we used to have like a really cool gaming group back in the day but then from what I can remember the only thing anybody used to play really was Halo and Gears of War uh, a few other games here and there obviously but they were the two big ones oh obviously you had Call of Duty as well but Yeah, I kind of into, it's kind of interesting going back through this game again. Um, it's impressive how well it actually held up, to be honest. Like, the mechanics are still solid. They're still there. It could have done with, like, a little bit more of everything. But as a start of a series, I think it was a, a solid effort. And it did have um, some interesting quirks that would have been nice to be seen fleshed out in later revisions like in, in a sequel or something 
with some bigger, larger scale maps. Um, for instance, some of the vehicles like the helicopter um, and the gun turrets and things, the, the deployable turrets that you get at the end, you only really get like 30 seconds of use out of them. So it seems like a bit of a missed opportunity, but then I suppose this game is probably more of a multiplayer game, um, which obviously I never played. I mean, I guess on um, the multiplayer side of it, I suppose you've got all the Russian equipment, the Russian helicopters and Russian tanks and Russian rifles and things, which you obviously don't see in the campaign. But I bet they would have been pretty cool. Fun toys to play with. Now, as for additional modes and things like that, I don't think there is any. I don't think there was ever any DLC or if there was, uh, unfortunately you can't get it anymore. Not that I've noticed anyway. But considering they were picked up for some modding work that they did to a previous game, I can't remember what game they modded. I know it was something to do with Desert Storm. Uh, but considering they were just a bunch of modders, amateur modders type things, uh, they, they turned out a pretty solid product. Relic Entertainment. Relic have done some solid games to be fair. THQ. Yeah, Australia. Interesting. I think this game was pretty well optimized for what it was as well. I remember it being quite, quite good on Xbox. Definitely was some um, frame issues, as you know, was pretty common to be fair. Back in the 360 and PlayStation 3 generation, especially on PlayStation 3. That thing chugged through so many games. <clears throat> it did get better towards the end of its life. But yeah, it, it PS3 was plagued with frame issues. It is nice to see with the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series consoles they are targeting 60 FPS. And even the games that run at 30 actually, you know, hit 30 sometimes. In fact, they pretty much hit a nice solid 30. I don't mind... I don't mind 30 frames a second if I have to. Like, I can understand if I'm going back and playing an old game on an old console. But, yeah... I don't mind 30 if it's actually 30, but of course a lot of games that threaten 30 frames a second are usually nowhere near that. But this one I believe was actually, um, I don't know if this was a 60 FPS game on Xbox or at least targeted 60. I know some games did. They tried. Call of Duty was always um, 60 FPS. Which is why I think that's what helped Call of Duty kind of take off in a way. It wasn't the reason, but it helped. Because that's why Call of Duty always felt so good to play. So this was a 2008 game. So two and a bit years into the 360's life. So an early title. You have been returned to the main menu because a sign-in change has occurred. Alright. <laughs> so this game actually has a system link, that's kind of interesting. Bonus content. 
Oh, right. Well, that sucks. Field guide. Yeah. It's going to be a load of old bollock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to bother going through any of this. I'll quickly ping through it, just in case anybody does want to read it. But I don't really have any interest in the story, I'll be honest. If anybody wants to read it, they can kind of pause their way through it. can scroll up and down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm sure this shit is um, itemized online somewhere. If anybody wants to see a bonus video uh, of me going through all of this stuff, just let me know and we will make a separate video going through everything here, just for the lols. So anyway guys, that ends um, Frontline Fuel of War and now apparently I have to find two new games to play. Oof. So, thank you very much for watching guys and as always, till next time.